Hello, one and all gamers. Welcome back to the re resurgence of the Maxed Out series. Today, though, we have a very special Meowy guest, if he will cooperate. Uno. Hello, Mr. Chonky. He has suddenly become a lap cat, and I have a story to tell you guys about him, but for now, we have something very simple to do. Today, we are going to be playing Maxed Out Fang in Solo Showdown like the OG days, because it's fun. I have not done this in a really long time. We have a bunch of different builds that we could potentially do. We're going to start out with build number one, which is star power one, gadget one. You can't change the hypercharge. And when it comes to gears, I'm not going to do every combination because it's like 100 in this series, but I'll just do some different builds that I think are fun and I'll change it every time I change the star powers as well. So four builds in the video. We're going to try each of them out, see which one works the best today. And yeah. Not only that, but the Spongebob event is still here. It's going to be gone in about seven days. Uh, we can use tier three spatula. I don't know how good that's going to be. And another thing, Kenji is coming out in 11 hours and 39 minutes, I believe. Whenever the shop resets, he should be here for early access. And we're going to play him. It'll be fun. But for now, we got Fang because I feel like playing Fang. All right. We have fresh kicks. We have popcorn spatula hypercharge the, the pretty basic build I, I i would probably replace the uh the popcorn for the roundhouse if i had to choose but okay that kit has i've, I've actually genuinely never played showdown with this event on i don't think so i don't really know who's good and who's bad what i do know though is that colt can auto aim onto people and it's super broken but as long as i can get people like a little bit low then i should just be able to kill them just like okay just like that oh my gosh i'm crazy <laughs> wait what that's actually insane. So these guys are running around with their crabby patties, and this is Brawl Stars in 2024, guys. Nothing even close to any of this existed back in the old Maxed Out series, but hey, we have it now. So hey, get your butt over here, buddy. What, what the hell? Okay, good, good try, I guess. It's already showdown. The fact that matchmaking is like this at 800 nowadays is also wild. Like this used to be the craziest matchmaking known to man in old Brawl Stars, but now we are able to literally f obliterate people in this matchmaking. That's kind of crazy. Dude, there's no way. I got the Brawl TV bug again. I did not touch my device. It just threw me into Brawl TV instead of bringing me back to the main menu. That is so weird. Wait, hold on. I have a theory about why that happens because I got a star drop. So my idea is that if you finish a game and you get a star drop there's just a chance that it'll throw you in a brawl tv i don't know let me know what you guys think build number two is going to be roundhouse kick and divine souls the two secondary star powers and i guess we can change these up a little bit and we can go with like health and maybe a little bit of speed since it's a very aggressive well also kind of defensive build i don't know fang is a very aggressive brawler we're just trying to change things up so build number two is this uh, i honestly think that build number three or four whatever i whatever i what order i put them in is going to be my favorite but i do like the divine soul star power quite a bit all right we have the spatula ready all of these tanks are going to have krabby patties but the good thing is that i can kind of waste them uh unless i can't i don't know what's going on he got the speed boost but he did not get the shield that's kind of weird uh i think he's gonna wait why did his krabby patty get used did i hit him i'm guys i'm actually going a little bit crazy here i don't really know how that works it just okay so i i am hitting him i think i believe i'm hitting him but it just doesn't look like i am am i hitting the patty is that what's going on <laughs> guys i don't know at all but all i know is that i should probably leave this situation because i feel like this is not really benefiting me at all because i don't have any cubes and there's a leon i just need my super and i could go in and start killing people kind of easily but the daryl could definitely reach me by now okay so i'm seeing a lot of assassins uh, so I could kill him. Hold up. Die. Die. Yeah, baby. All right. I get the speed boost. I get invisibility too. That's kind of crazy. Daryl is running away. Come here. Oh my gosh. No way. That's crazy. All right. Build number two almost worked. Uh, I don't know what would have been better there. I just probably played bad. I, you know, Piper kind of caught my cheeks. But build number three, I'm going to switch to star power. We have fresh kicks and we have roundhouse kick, which is probably the most aggressive combo you can get in this build all right ladies and gentlemen no horsing around anymore from here on out we get nothing but big massive w's uh hopefully but i honestly do not know what to expect with the event even after the first few games 
Lily is scary. Uh, I do not think that it is ever worth it for me to fight her, especially when she has a spatula and better burst damage than me. Uh, shoot, bro. What is wrong with me? Are you... Oh, his spatula killed me first. We're running that back. I completely messed up. I thought that he... W I was gonna, like, predict him with my roundhouse, and it didn't work at all, and then he just killed me because of it. So we're acting like that never happened, and uh, we're just gonna respawn in the same place with the same matchup die yeah yeah get wrecked i actually don't think he had the spatula or, or something i don't know why he didn't do not hit me dude the spatula is insane again try again never stop trying give me the same spawn please okay inverted there's no mortis there but there are two three in the lobby so maybe i'll find them eventually i won that matchup but that guy didn't even have the spatula i don't think i don't i don't know bro meg has krabby patties and that that is scary so i i do not know if you need to hit the patty or hit the player but it activates so i just want to kind of get a free super offer though like i mean yes freaking please bro no okay well oh okay okay this is scary i cannot kill that mortis i cannot do anything right now because I don't have any cubes. I should probably just go for it, huh? Okay. Okay. She can kill me with one more shot. I can go in here. No way. Okay, I'm invisible because I got the kill. I got the kill. That's kind of crazy. I thought I got the assist. Uh, that's not worth it. Dude, no fight is worth it right now. <laughs> this is actually terrifying. I do not have a spatula ready either. Oh? Okay. Wait. Goodbye. <laughs> this is so weird. I didn't hurt him at all with the second hit. I don't I don't exactly I think it's like a, a huge reduction with the Krabby Patty. I swear there's a BB in there, but like Uh oh. <laughs> I feel like oh hey, there's BB's thing. I feel like this Frank probably doesn't doesn't exactly like me right now. Oh hey. Oh Ow Wait, yes. Yes! What? What? The patty's crazy! Okay, whatever. That's fine. Uh, we can swap to the other build, which I need a second to recoup my brain, bro. That was just too much. Okay, now we have Corn Fu and Divine Souls. Let's see how this one goes, dude. This is so ridiculous. Okay, I have noticed a lot of crows in this lobby, and I can see why he's good in this, because all he has to do is poison you, and then he gets a free kill, essentially, so... That is not too bad. I should do like a, I should do a whole updated series where I play the brawlers in the original one, and it's like 2024 edition because so much shit has changed in the the time between then and now. Like, I, I I'm gonna say like an unbelievable amount of things have changed. Like if, if I yeah, it would be completely different. So I think that'll be pretty fun. But unfortunately, I am now getting targeted by this crow, and he is dead. He's dead. Poor man. Actually, you know, screw you. <laughs> you chose that fate. Now I get big money because I have been given everything that I could ever want in life. And boom. Fantastic. There's another crow. I, I have to remember that there's like four in this lobby. Okay. Well, uh, Chester may be a dead man walking. He's... he's... <laughs> what? Okay. Let's try one more time. But... In this match, we're gonna have a bit of a story time, so settle down, sit back, and uh, and relax, because uh, we have to talk about my cat Uno. So, it has been like what a month since we had that kitten. Uh, if you guys don't know what the hell I'm talking about, basically we uh, we took a kitten for my aunt, uh, you know, to see if we could keep it, and we were just keeping it for a few days to see how how it went. You know, if the cat liked us, if we liked the cat. Uh, and like the whole th the whole idea is that we would we would either bring it back or keep it and Within those only two days that we had the cat uh, first of all, I forgot I had corn food not the other one, but uh Oh, he has a spatula. Um, so we thought that the cat was a girl We brought it back with that assumption and it had to be a girl because we already have two boys and having <laughs> What dude the spatula fuse RNG? <laughs> The cat was actually boy. We already have two boys, and they were already kind of having like like uh, territorial issues, but like not really. Like it wasn't really obvious to me that they were having any issues until after that kitten came home for only two days, because like those problems that were just very 
minimal. Like, they never got into any fights or anything, but sometimes it just, like, they just did little things. Like, they would kind of, like, hold, like, one of them would hold on to the other one and be like, yeah, fuck you, this is my home. It was very rare. It didn't happen often, but they never got into fights. And after we got that, after we had that kitten in a separate room for two days, uh, my cat Uno, the one that I showed at the beginning of this video, basically started absolutely hating or being scared of Igor. And Igor didn't do anything to him. Igor was literally just standing there doing nothing. Like any time that Uno would start hissing at Igor, he would go and attack Igor, and then Igor would run away, hide, and rinse and repeat so basically they could not be in the same room together anymore because uno suddenly hated igor because he smelled the kitten in the other room and f and somehow he associated that kitten as like as igor so now he basically sometimes completely randomly hates my my black cat igor if you guys don't know uh yeah so uh, it's so weird some and more recently he's been hissing at lulu but like also recently there was about an entire week where uno was fine with them and then uh, my girlfriend's mom came into the house for like 30 minutes. And I guess any new smell that he's not used to basically sets him off now. So the, the fact that somebody new or new-ish walked into the building for a little bit made him, made his like, his danger senses spike. So he's back to hating Igor and it got even worse. Like he would just, he would just hiss at Igor on sight chase him screeching like it's just not a good situation and it's been a month and nothing has changed i called vets they they didn't have any advice like they, there was nothing uh so by this point uno is just in this room with me he's been in here for a few weeks and what we've realized is that yeah he's probably better off i cannot believe i don't have roundhouse that would have been so much better for me <laughs> what we've found out is that uh they're better off being separate Everybody is happier, not not like me and my girlfriend. We are both fucking devastated because of this, because we've had the three cats since we started dating two and a half years ago. We, we love them, obviously. We do not want to have to separate them or anything. But Uno is now basically being aggressive, kind of, to both of them. Like, he was hissing at Lulu before we separated him for this final time, and he's been in here ever since. There was just a big fight between them. Lulu and Igor have never had a single issue, but Uno has always been a bit weird with Lulu, like, he, they're related, so, and Lulu is my girl cat, and Uno is just, uh, sometimes he would play way too aggressively with her, or he would try to frick her, even though they're both neutered and spayed, and she hates that shit, so he would annoy her all the time, and she would hiss at him and run away. That's always been an issue, and there's just always been these like slight issues that happen every so often, but now they're happening constantly, and ever since Uno has been in here with me, for context, this is a cat who absolutely hates sitting in people's laps. He, he cannot stand it. He has been sitting in my lap every single day, ever since he's been in here with just me. Every single day, every night, he is the most cuddly cat I have ever experienced in my life, which means he's happy being alone. The other two are also doing brand new things, being very affectionate, unlike ever before. I think this guy recognizes me or something because there's no way that he... Does that actually not give me supercharge either? That's kind of wild. But it, yeah, the other cats, they're happy without him too. So I'm assuming that there's always... God damn, Edgar, holy moly, he went for it. Now he's probably gonna die for his sins, hold up. Mo, you could have auto-aimed it. Go, Ash. Go. 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 Kill him. Get him. Get him. Get him. Yeah. Yeah. Let's go. <laughs> All right. I'm going back to my 10 out of 10 favorite Fang build. I really like the Divine Soul Star Power, even if Fresh Kicks is better, guys. I, I really don't care if you think that. Uh, there are some people who will be very... <laughs> very angrily say you're you're a fucking idiot you should have used this star power instead what the, what is wrong with you there there are some people who get that serious about <laughs> these things so at this point i'm just like dude stop <laughs> like it the, the brawl stars community needs to chill when it comes to stuff like this but uh yeah so my brother who is you know two and a half years older than me he has his own place he doesn't have any pets he absolutely loves uno like a lot of people do so we are considering taking the next step which we're most likely gonna do at least test it out where he takes uno he loves uno it's gonna be great he's gonna be an only pet which is what uno needs anytime anything new shows up around uno he freaks the fuck out and it's clearly not a good thing for him to to be surrounded by other things so 
yeah, by this point, like, he's always get given signs that he just likes to be alone. But now it's proven. Like, he is a completely different cat now. He, he probably still won't let us, like, cut his nails and stuff. He's still picky about that. Like, really picky. He's one of those cats when it comes to those things. But... He clearly likes being alone. I swear to God, I saw somebody in that bush and nobody's there. I might be schizo, but yeah, so my brother might take him soon, meaning we will be down to two cats. And I don't think we're planning on getting a third one because uh, th at this point, we should just let it chill. Yeah, I don't I don't really know what we're doing pets wise. Maybe eventually we'll get a dog or something. That could be fun. It's already showdown. I didn't really do anything this game. Oh, yes. I can't believe that hit. That's wild. But yeah, uh, maybe I'll try incorporating Uno into the content as much as possible until that day comes. And if he is not happy with my brother after a certain amount of time, then we'll have to figure out what to do going forward because I love this cat. I don't want anything bad to happen to his life. I want him to be happy. And if he's happy being alone and my brother loves him and it would be a good thing for him to go with my brother instead of going here for the, for the sole fact that my brother has no pets and probably doesn't plan on getting any more, then maybe it's for the best like that's what we've been having talks about like this is for the best for him for the other cats for us because we don't have to deal with all of these problems anymore best for my brother because he loves uno and he could probably really use a pet it's just uh it's sad it's very sad like we are not happy that we have to even consider making these decisions because like he you know realistically it, it would have been fantastic for him to just live here forever that's what you want in a pet but if things don't work, then they don't work. And if he's not happy with my brother, then we'll have to figure something else out. Maybe somehow he can warm up to the other cats, but it has been a month. He is still not warmed up to them. We've done absolutely everything that we're supposed to. He's just, uh, he's, he's a changed man. Ever since a kitten lived in the bedroom for two days, two days was enough to break this cat of a kitten living next to him. That's how, that's how wacky he is, but he's a very fun cat. So yeah, I don't know. Yeah, that's, that's just the situation so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video another 17 minute long one you guys are probably gonna eat this stuff up but yeah i'll see you guys later have a good night